now we go out and about with Jiminy Glick. I am here in the wonderful hallowed halls of NBC. And I'm talking with one of the great hosts, the wonderful Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien, how are you? I'm fine. You fine. look wonderful. You, you look, look at your wonderful head of hair. Isn't that nice? And is there a rinse in there? Let me see a better peek because no, that's... <laughs> you're, 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 it, from the pictures, it looks different. Those are some glasses, by the way. Those are Thank great. Thank you. Thank so, you very much. Well, you know... I'm windshield of a Buick. That's very nice. Windshield of a Buick. Hey, you like you that? See, that's not a scripted line. See, I just came... Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? A lot of talk show hosts are stand-up comedians. When I came on the scene, people said, who is this guy? He's not a stand-up. Improv. Imp uh, you were one of them. Yes. You very loudly yes. said, you loudly said at a meeting of the NBC affiliates, this cannot work. This man is not a stand-up comedian. He will fail. Remember you said that? Yes. I said, what is Bob right on? But I am an improviser. We've talked about your hair color, and again, yeah. it's, it's vivid, it's vivid, and it's vibrant. Do you think it's too big? Do you think it's too much that I puff it out for the I show? I don't know now that you've got the pickup if you need to puff it up so much, and that's, and that's just my opinion. Sort of relax a little bit. When you were in that phase when it was every, you know, six days, like, uh, you know. I was being renewed every 30 minutes. Every I would time. keep the hair blower going during actual interviews. Oh, no, no. You Her don't, no. Was fine. And then suddenly... Suddenly you don't know. Well, you were what? frightened by your fingers? <laughs> you know what, what it is? I'm not wearing my glasses. I thought, I thought a little person had stepped in and, and it was going to shoot me or something. And it was my own finger. But I think that what's interesting about you is that you have an insider's knowledge of show business. I've done it all. You've done it all. And I've done them all. <laughs> <laughs> You've done them all. So you wouldn't hear Letterman say something like that? No, no, he's not that good. Where does the Conan O'Brien go from here? Well? You can't do this forever, dear boy. Have you heard me sing? I have a very uh, high and pretty voice for a man, you know, and I think that that's... Could you sing something for us now? I mean, something that... Silent night, oh, holy night, all is calm and all is bright. Run yon virgin mother and child, hey, infant so tender and mild, sleep, 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 sleep. That's not a word. What is it? You just went, I knew ya. That's not a... I we could have had a group. nice... We could have had a nice ending, and then you just went too far. See, this is what I've heard about you, and again, I've heard that you can be fun, cooperative, but there's a snap. Do you understand what kind of pressure I'm under? What, what pressure are you? You've got a five-year pickup. You're making four or $5,000 a month now. What would be your concern? The ladies love you. Uh, they <laughs> think... They do. And you're hip. Everyone says, oh, you're so hip. Yeah. You're so hip. And when it goes away, and it will go away, and I think it might have gone away. Does, About is, a year and a half ago, Is someone yeah. left with a sense of emptiness, Conan O'Brien? I sometimes, yeah, when the show's over, I don't know how much time you have, but... Oh, we haven't been taping for a while. Uh, when the show's over, sometimes they... Everyone else leaves right away, and I often stay here on the set, and they turn off the lights, and sometimes there's a lone spotlight just on me, and it can get very poignant. You know, some people question, well, why stay oh, for that? Excuse me, just wants to keep that. Hello? Oh, hi, Dixie. How are you? Now I'm doing this interview with this guy, Conan O'Brien. I don't know him either, but he's lots of fun. He's a big shocker right here. It's like watching, you know, when we watch Here's Lucy you, at Night? I was telling you about a pretty sad... No, and I want to hear about it because it's really interesting. No, that's... The, no, th tell Morgan those things are called bucket seats. And they're called bucket seats for a reason. I don't... Put Morgan on. No. I don't lower my defenses Shh. often. It's rare when I, a comedian I, would open please, up. Please, 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 buddy. Right. I'm dealing with my son Morgan wants to put a you know, whole bunch of groceries in a bucket seat. And he doesn't want to use a bag. He just wants to keep them loose in the bucket seat. And I'm upset. And I, I really want to get back to you. But ultimately, this is my life. Oh. <laughs> Gee, young up. I got fed up. Well, this has been fun. You... You really are a true, true sport. Because I'll tell you why. I. What have I done? Someone explain to me what the hell has gone on. Primetime Glick. We'll be back after this.